Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for this day. Uh, my name is Reverend Amanda Spence and I am part of the ministry team here at St Polinus in Crayford. And today I am going to be sharing morning prayer from the sanctuary. And behind me is our altar and our triptych. Uh, as well as our beautiful window, which the sun is coming through, so you probably won't be able to see that, but that's for angels. Um, anyway, welcome if you know me, it's good to see you, um, and if you are new, very, very welcome to join in this prayer this morning. If you'd like the words that um, accompany this prayer, the Celtic uh, Daily Prayer, um, they're available on the St Polinus website, stpolinus.co.uk, on our daily prayer page, um, on our this week page, um, as as our um, a, a recording of this um, uh, to, to access, and um, if you uh, would like to know the readings and go and get those, it's today will be Psalm sixty verse three, uh, Isaiah chapter fifty five verses one to two, and Matthew chapter nine. Verse 17. But don't worry about that because I, I will be reading those um, today. So let us still ourselves as we prepare for our prayer this morning. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I've asked the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek all your heart? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek all your soul? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek all your mind? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek all your strength? Amen, Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We have our first reading. Psalm 60, verse 3. You have made your people suffer hard things and have given us wine to drink that made us real. Isaiah 55, verse 1 to 2. Oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your le for labour, your labour for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Our final reading is Matthew chapter 9, verse 17. Neither is new wine put into old wineskins, Otherwise the skin bursts, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. Our daily reading. Some of the wine they sipped was restored wine, and some of it was new wine. But for that little band of believers, it was all new. Not one drop of that wine did they ever sip, except by experience. We now have our meditation for this day. My Master's face. No pictured likeness of my Lord I have. He carved no record of his ministry on wood or stone. He left no sculptured tomb, nor parchment dim, but trusted all for all memory of him, the heart alone. 
Who sees the face but sees in part? Who reads the spirit which it hides, sees all and needs no more? Thy life in my life, Lord, give thou to me, and then in truth I may forever see my master's face. We now come to our time of prayers for others. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for keeping us safely through the night and gathering us together in your presence at break of day. Look kindly on us as we pray. Lord, keep us united to you. Through your goodness, the earth is blessed with a new day. Help all humanity marvel at what your hand has wrought. Lord, keep us united to you. Make us like the morning sun, a reflection of your unfailing love. Lord, keep us united to you. Send the spirit of discernment and understanding to all who proclaim and listen to your word this day. Lord, keep us united to you. Fill your church with joy at the new beginning your love brings to us. Lord, keep us united to you. Give never-ending light to all who sought you while they lived on earth. And we particularly pray for Russ and his family. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Eternal God and Father, you create and redeem us by the power of your love. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves in love and service to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now continue with our daily prayer. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ is a light, Christ is a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>